The Behavioral Health Initiative has been working with our community partners and helping them understand what integration of care, what a model might look like within their own organization. We have a very important role for healthy moms and healthy babies. So we started to look at an integration of care model. Terry brought in a consultant, as well as offered to other partners in the community that we start to work together and we start to learn how to integrate behavior health and capitalize on what we do. And, and our expertise in the different areas. They really saw the importance of doing full integrated care, to look at not just the medical side of a woman's life, but also looking at the social and emotional side and making everything connect as well as anything outside of their maternal needs. And now she is doing screenings and universal screenings for all of our women that come into the Circle of Care site. So they started with the PHQ-2, the depression screen, and also for substance use disorder screening. I also screen for adverse childhood experiences, which a large, very large number of these women have experienced either abuse or neglect, lots of trauma, lots of domestic violence. I then sit down and do a brief um, psychosocial interview with them and assess if they have any uh, further needs. And what she has developed is, I want to say, systems of care and working with other community organizations after she does assessments to make sure that they are going for their medical assistant treatments, that they have housing. We have a communication system with their drug and alcohol provider, with their behavioral health provider, with the hospital where they're going to deliver. We've had growing concerns of addicted mothers in our programs. We have seen triple the numbers. We felt that we needed to somehow play a role in this space. An example of good integrated care, um, just recently a young mother presented to a local ER due to an opiate related emergency. She was given the news that she was pregnant and upon hearing that news she was terrified. You know, I'm addicted to drugs. I'm pregnant, and while in inpatient, she's still an inpatient, we have already been able to set her up with prenatal care. We have a WIC referral set up for her, and we're in the process of setting up a nurse family partnership referral, and we have a mental health evaluation already set up, and so when she's discharged, and that is weeks away, we already have her aftercare plan set up for her, and she already has a case manager working with her. We're all here waiting for her to come back, and everything's already set up. We are trying to cut the barriers of stigma more now than we ever have. 